makes all things new. It is. the speaker bless Janelle right now oh God touch her heart oh God Lord she's a willing vessel oh God so Lord use her as you will father and have your way in this place oh God we bless your name we honor you oh God and we invite you oh God to be in this service and to stay throughout the remainder of this service and may his soul be saved may his soul be filled with the Holy Ghost may his soul be restored and revived in the name of Jesus, we give your name the praise. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. Give the Lord a hand praise right now if you love him. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Name we pray. Name we pray. Hallelujah. Fill your prayer with praise. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. this time we're going to go ahead and we're going to move forward with the word we'll have Tyler come up after but we're going to go ahead and we're going to move forward with the word of God while the spirit yeah. is in this place yeah. Yeah. so at this time we're going to ask Janelle Newman our our singer our worshiper here at Word for Life Ministries we're going to ask her to come and to bring forth the word as God gives her the ability to do it so pray for her and speak the word Janelle in Jesus name Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you, God. Yeah, Lord, we worship you, oh God. Yeah, hallelujah, yeah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you, oh God. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, you're so worthy. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, you're so worthy, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we just honor you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. So is it all right if I just take some time, some more time to honor God? Hallelujah. You can sit there if you want to. Hallelujah. But God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we honor you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Let's go before the Lord in a word of prayer. Hallelujah. God, we love you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we love you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're so worthy. Jesus, you are real. Jesus, you are, oh God, our source of life, God. You are our source of strength, oh God. You are our source of comfort, Jesus. Oh God, you are our source of peace. Oh God, hallelujah, 
you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, you're not a distant God. Oh, Lord, Jesus, yes, you're in the heavens, oh, God. But you're also right here with us, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, you're dwelling within us, oh, God. If we let you in, oh, God, Lord, you will dwell within us, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, God, I just welcome your presence here today, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I thank you for your spirit, oh, God. Lord, Jesus, I pray, God, oh, Lord, Jesus, that there would be less of me, oh, God, none of me, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, oh, God. Use me, oh, God, for your glory, Lord Jesus. Speak through me, oh, God, to, uh, Lord Jesus, your word, oh, God. Touch every young person in this house, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God, open up their minds, oh, God. Open up their hearts, oh, God, to you, Jesus. Oh, God, to a closer walk with you, Jesus. Oh, God, Lord, forgive us, oh, Lord Jesus, of our wrongs, oh, God. Forgive us, oh, God, of wicked thoughts, Lord Jesus, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, make us right before you, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, Lord, we just love you, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, have your way in this message, oh, God. Lord, we praise you, oh, God. We love you, Jesus, oh, God. Lord Jesus, send your anointing, Lord Jesus, to the message, Lord God, that you gave, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, let your spirit fill us, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We love you and we adore you, oh, God. We ask your blessings in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is so worthy to be praised, man. He is so worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So honored to be able to speak and um, just acknowledge everyone who's in this room. Brother Martinez Johnson, so glad yeah. that he's here with us from yeah. out of town. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I just want to, again, um, even though all of our young people have not spoken, but haven't they done a great job? Hallelujah. Yeah. In the word that Minister Simone has been speaking, I believe that they have been learning something. Hallelujah. I honor my family that is here with me today. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I just honor our Pastor Bowden and Co-Pastor Michelle. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus, the shepherds of this house. Hallelujah. I don't yeah. want to cry. But if it had not been for Pastor and along with God and co-pastor, then I wouldn't be, I don't think I would be in this place in, in my walk with God. So I'm just so grateful to be at Word for Life Ministries. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. On today, we're going to go to two passages of scripture. Actually, three passages of scripture. Um, the first is going to be found in Psalm 77. And there we, we are going to be reading verses 9 through 10. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 77, 9 through 10. And then you can put your finger there. And then we're also going to be going to Isaiah chapter 26. There we're going to be reading 3 and 4. And then lastly, we're going to go to Hebrews chapter 11 and 6. I'll give you a moment to get there while I also get there. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So Psalm 77, uh, beginning with, with verse 9, Hath God forgotten to be gracious? Hath he in anger shut up his tender mercies? And I said, this is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. Yeah. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 26, we're going to start with verse 3. And it reads, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Yeah. 
Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is, str is everlasting strength. Yes. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Let's read it all together. If you have it, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And if you have it, I'll give you a moment to get it. Amen. Let's read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 all together. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Amen. So the topic that I want to speak from today is set your mind on God. Amen. Our minds are the most powerful parts of who we are and what we believe. So I just want us to think about some quotes. The author of this statement is unknown, but this statement reads, the hardest prison to escape is your mind. And Leon Brown noted, it all begins in your mind. What you give power to has power over you, if you allow it. So we see from these quotes that if we do not manage certain thoughts, it can cause unwanted emotions and behaviors. The Holman Bible Dictionary explains that the mind is a center for our for our understanding and the process of thinking through something in a process of reflection. The main word for mind in the Bible is leb, which Pastor has already revealed before, <clears throat> and that means our heart. Another word for the mind is nephish, and it refers to the desire of a person's mind, and that can also connect with our soul, and this was also mentioned in this week's past Bible study. It also says that the mind can be evil, self-centered, and dirty. Our minds include our desires, thoughts, and ultimately leads every decision that we make. So take a moment to think about what you have thought about, what you think about on a daily basis. Some of the things I have thought about before have caused me to become distracted, fearful, angry, and discouraged. But instead of holding all of this emotion in, I have had to bring everything to God in prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Asaph, Asaph dealt with a difficult type of suffering in Psalm 77. What he is going through is so severe to him, it is causing him to lose sleep at night. In verse 1, it says, I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear to me. And in the Amplified Version, it, the scripture is saying, I will cry out to God with my voice, and he will give ear to me. So the writer has confidence that God does hear him when he speaks to the Lord. And so I want to encourage you today that whenever you speak to God with all of your heart in prayer, he hears you and he will answer you. Yeah. Psalms 145 and 18 promises that the Lord is near to all those who call on him, who call on him in truth. So you have to believe and trust that God is a man of his word, yes. of his own word. Yes. Yes. And so I'm going to read the next verse in Psalm 77, uh, verse 2, in the Amplified Version. It says, in the day of my trouble, I desperately sought the Lord. In the night, my hand was stretched out in prayer without weariness. But he says, my soul refused to be comforted. And the definition of refuse, when I looked it up online, it means that you are not willing to do something. So this showed me that you can cry out to God, you can pray, but if you still choose to hold on to it and not let it go and not, let it, not fully give it to God, you are still going to struggle with it. I can't tell you how many nights I spent on the floor crying out to God because I was empty and I wanted to be with someone to fill that space and I wasn't coming to God to hear what he had to say about it I wasn't uh, trying to listen to I wasn't allowing God to uh, speak to me but because I was so focused on the issue I had I gave God no opportunity for him to have have his way because I was stuck in my own mind and in my own feelings All right, All right. and so verse 3 of Psalm 77 it says I remembered God and was troubled I complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. And so Asaph 
instead, of, when he thinks about the Lord in previous times, it says that he was able to rejoice and praise God. But at this point, when he, whenever he thinks about the Lord, uh, instead of feeling joy and peace, he becomes anxious. And so I want to ask you, have you ever been in a place where you say, yeah, I know what God did for other people. I know what he's done in the past, but what I'm going through right now is too much for me. When I totaled my car uh, almost a year ago, I cried out in anger and frustration and disappointment within myself. And there was moments where I remembered God, but I wasn't thinking about all that God was. I was only think I was thinking about him as a punisher. I was saying, God, you aren't there for me. You you let me fail. But I wasn't thinking about his protection and his Thank mercy you. and keeping me and my family. I wasn't thinking about God's continual love for me. Hallelujah. So I believe Asaph is doing the same thing. He's not thinking in this moment about all that God is. He's only thinking about him in relation to his struggle. Mm -hmm. all right. All right. Verse 6, I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, and my spirit made diligent search. And from his spirit searching, he begins to question the faithfulness of God. In verse 7, it says, Will the Lord cast off forever, and will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone forever? Does his promise fail forevermore? Hath God forgotten to be gracious? Hath he in anger shut up his tender mercies? But then he says, and, and I said, this is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. Hallelujah. Asaph shifts his thinking from what he's going through to the... Uh, to the to God, Hallelujah, who is most holy, Hallelujah, and He sets His attention on Him, yes. Hallelujah. In verse twelve, it says, "I will meditate." Meditate means that you think deeply and focus on also of all Thy work and talk of Thy doings. Verse thirteen, it says, "Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Yes. Who is so great a God as our God?" Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And so I want to encourage you that regardless of where you are, whether you feel that you are in a good place in your life or whether you feel that you're or whether you are facing a difficult time to set your mind on God because he is worthy to be yeah. praised. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He is most holy. Hallelujah. Yeah. He created all things. Hallelujah. And even if God never gives me anything else, yes, Lord, I want things I want. I have prayers that I want answered, hallelujah, but I also just want to worship you, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's not so much about what can I get from you, hallelujah, what can I give to you, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, hallelujah. I just want to worship you, Jesus, hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised, God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. And when you are with God in his presence, you will have peace. But you have you yourself have to believe that you can receive God's presence. You can read Psalm 16 and 11, which says in the presence of God, we can have fullness of joy. But if you don't really believe that, that God is your source of all your joy, you will keep looking for other things to fulfill your joy. But it never will. All right. Hallelujah. You have to believe that God is perfect comfort hallelujah in the midst of losing a loved one hallelujah if you want God's spirit hallelujah God said that he would give his spirit to them that ask him hallelujah but when you ask him hallelujah you have to ask him in faith hallelujah believing hallelujah that I will hallelujah receive your spirit oh God hallelujah Jesus I believe God that you will fill me hallelujah Jesus no matter how much time it takes hallelujah hallelujah if I have to be here all day hallelujah i will get your spirit oh god hallelujah i will receive your spirit hallelujah jesus hallelujah jesus hallelujah if you don't fully believe and trust that god is going to hand you, handle your situation this one was for me in your life according to his will hallelujah you will keep taking it back in your mind and trying to scheme up a plan of how you can work it out yourself how you can talk to that person and tell them off hallelujah but god but it's not going to work. Hallelujah. The ways of the Lord are perfect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the only one who can solve all of our problems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I just want to encourage you, hallelujah, to search after God daily in prayer. Hallelujah. And keep seeking for more of him. Hallelujah. Daily. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Come on, let's put our hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, just raise your hands and give him glory all over the house, for he alone is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah. 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 Set your mind on God. Notice that's something that you have to do. Hallelujah. That, that when certain things come to your mind and certain yeah. thoughts want you to do something different yeah. other than what God has for you, what do you have to do? You got to set your mind. You got to set your mind. Yeah. God gives you the ability to yeah. do it, but you've got to want it more than anything else. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just tell the Lord right now, say, Lord, set my mind. Set my mind, Lord. Let it be on you, Lord. Set my mind on you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the struggles of life are real. Hallelujah. The struggles of life are real. And th there's no diminishing that. But the fact is, is in the midst of everything going on, that God is our protector. God is our strength. God will watch over us. God will heal us. God will cover us no matter what you are facing. If we set our things on the Lord, if we set our mind on the Lord, if we set our thoughts upon him, if we begin to pray, say, Lord, I need you. Hallelujah. I love that because God wants communion with us. God wants to show us that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think. How? According to that power that works in us. What's that power that works in us? The Holy Ghost that he's put in us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come on, just stand today. Just stand. Just stand. Just stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That was an, a, a very timely word, but also a personal testimony. Yeah. Let me ask you this. How many of you have ever had to deal with just the struggles of life? Yeah. Amen. Sometimes the struggle of life have caused you. Your first response has yeah. been more of a fleshly response that wants to ask God why. Yeah. Hallelujah. God, why did you allow this? God, why did you do this? Lord, why did this have to happen to me? Rather than focusing on in the midst of it, what did God do? Yeah. Amen. To protect you, to yeah. cover you, yeah. to keep you. Yeah. Maybe God is taking you through what you're going through, not so he can remove the situation, but that bringing you into and through the situation, maybe God wants to strengthen you. Maybe God wants to change you and not the circumstance so that your outlook on the situation becomes completely different. Hallelujah. We have to change our mindset. We have to change what we're thinking on and what we're thinking about and begin to think on the things of the Lord. Hallelujah. The young people are just doing an awesome, yes, awesome job yes. today. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 From the praise and the worship, amen, to the life prayer, to the young people, yes. amen, getting up here. We're going to get a chance to hear from Tyler pretty soon, amen. Hallelujah. We want you to be ready, Brother Tyler, in just a moment. But each of the young people have had an opportunity to study, amen, and just that they have a desire to know more about God. And, and there are there are a number of young people that are here today. And, and I want to ask you all all the young people. Now, listen, hallelujah. Um, there, there's no end to 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 the number to, to youth. Amen. Right. Um, so so when I say young people, if you feel that you are a young person, man, what I want you to do, I just want you to step out into the aisle because we're we going to have prayer today. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to have prayer. I want to have prayer for all of our young people. Just come. Just come. Just come. Just come. Just come today. Just come. Just come. Hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In fact, some of you can stretch across. Hallelujah, just stretch across in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just stretch across behind the camera. Hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Young people, I need each of you to understand that there is a mantle that God is putting and placing upon your life. Hallelujah. God is establishing purpose within each and every one of you. God has a plan for you. Sometimes the enemy wants to tell you, what's, what's the, he, he's got you thinking, what, what's your plan? Why are you here? And sometimes he tries to get our young people to think that, they're, that they have no purpose and that nobody's going to miss you. Listen, God created you for his reason. Yeah. He created you for his glory. Yeah. God has purpose for you and he wants to utilize you to be a light unto others. And sometimes what that means, sometimes that means that we have to go through some things. Sometimes things that hurt. Sometimes things that are uncomfortable. Sometimes things that we don't always understand. And we wonder, God, why did you allow this to happen? Hallelujah. Lord, what do you, the question should be, God, what are you doing in my life? 
What is this situation that I'm in now? What is it trying to show me, God? What are you trying to show me in all of this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know what? Each and every one of us, in all transparency, every single one of us have had those difficulties where we've questioned God. And we've said, God, why? Why did you allow this? Why did you do this? Hallelujah. Sometimes we have that accusatory tone. You know how we can do it. 